Welcome back everyone. We are at the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool. Absolutely stunning. Archie's with us again. This hotel is absolutely historical. It's gorgeous. It's got all its original features still. Um, filled with a lot of bad reviews. So join us to find out our experience. Does it really deserve bad reviews? Let's find out. This is Claire. This is Chris. That's Archie up there. Claire. Let's go. Outside of London back in its day, you can feel that you're in a car. TripAdvisor, obviously you go on and read them and they're appalling. They are kind of making changes, they're listening to what people have been saying, but I do also think at the same time, 
a lot of these reviews are a bit harsh. Oh God, I felt that fear of heights. close to the uh, the banister there and I started to panic so comments down below guys if you're scared of heights like myself Stairs, but I've got to carry him. So why is it strange? Definitely. Chris? Yeah? Well. Definitely needs a clean on the stairs, that's for sure. Okay, so I've just met Claire. Upon first impression, not bad, but then I've just noticed this lovely stain on the wall. Apart from that stain that I've just seen on the wall, and a bit there, it looks a bit battered and bruised. And there's a few more stains on the wall here as well. Yeah, there's a bogey. Oh, nice. Yeah, bogey. Bogey on the wall. What do you think? Uh, what was it, £36? Pound? £37. Pound. £37. Pound. We'll have a, a bit of a better look. Well, actually, what bathroom looks really nice. Well, again, oh, it did look nice upon first impression. Has just been done out or has just been done out it. recently. Are you checking it out? Yes. Right, well, let mummy hold there it. There is paint. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Where is it there? Oh, nice guys. I would say this bathroom has just been done out or been done out recently, but it looks like the workmanship has been a bit shoddy. Um, you look at it down here where the silicon is, it's just been all rubbed on. Big toilet trees, nice big mirror, towels. Towel. We'll have a look at the towels in a minute properly, guys. But from first impressions, the bathroom looked did look all right. It looks fairly cleanish. It looks all right. It looks quite nice. What about the window? Oh. Oh, well, we haven't got a view. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's some nice view. So totally but the windows definitely could do with a clean. Bit of paint coming off by the looks of things. We'll do a proper in-depth so, review um, in a minute, guys. Once we get settled, so. Actually, test the bed. Jump, bounce. Is right. it good? Shall we have a right? So, Christopher. So, pillows look well. That pillow looks all right. Pillow, a pillow looks okay. Bed sheets on the top. There's nothing that stands out. As in there isn't any stains, wise. no. Oh. So let's pull back. Mm. Don't know what that I'm is. Looks sure a bit, what... of, bit of fluff. Uh, Can't see any stainage. Uh, oh. Yeah. oh, nice. 
a hair. A black. Big black hair. Hair. But no stainages, thank God. Uh, I'm gonna pull it back. Uh, I can't see any stainage. Headboard. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I can't see anything. In there. No, I've just spotted down there. No dusty, dirty it is down there. Bed. From what I've seen, not bad. Overall, the bed, apart from my hair, no stains, no marks on the headboard, <laughs> uh, pillows. I mean, at the moment, for me, the only thing <laughs> that stands out is, is the bogey on the wall. <laughs> So guys, we finally got into sleep. We're going to discuss room 505 at the Adelphi Hotel Inn. So upon arrival, opening the door, we were a bit wary, weren't we, Claire? I was pleasantly surprised. The room, fairly smallish. It looked clean, looked tidy. As we come into the room, I did notice a few, not some very nice marks on the wall that you can see uh, on the videos. So, Kettle. So you've got your tea, coffee, making facilities. Um, the cups, spoons, clean. Um, you've got your milk, coffee, tea, sugars as standard that you, you normally get in a room. Kettle is clean. I would happily make a coffee or a tea she in that kettle. Make, she better make me a no, coffee in the morning. No, I will happily let Christopher make a coffee in the morning. It does the job. It's not blind scaled. Um, yeah, absolutely. TV. Uh, works absolutely fine. Sanitised remote control. She loves her sanitised um, remote control. I... So you've got a little table in front of the TV, uh, which we've got the uh, gimbal put up on there now at the minute. You've got a uh, hair dryer underneath. The table was clean, the bin underneath, that was absolutely fine. It's just like a leaflet and it tells you all the information about the hotel that you need. I absolutely love this idea. Obviously they get uh, trip advisor reviews of, of people, whether they're moaning about the slightest little thing or big things to fill out. If you have any issues with your room, please go to the maintenance to let them have the chance and the option to rectify any problems that you've got. People are finding things and they're just jumping straight on TripAdvisor. This is why we kind of came to this hotel because of the TripAdvisor reviews and we want to see what it was really like. So we've got a 37 pound room that is a base for the night. Um, in Liverpool city In the city centre. centre. Yeah. There's a few marks on the wall. Um, yeah, they're not very nice, but. It's clean. It could be cleaner, but it's in a city centre, £37 pound for the night, somewhere to lay my head in a gorgeous hotel. There's the skirting boards, things like that. There is some scuff marks. Uh, lampshades are in pretty good nick. One behind us has got a few rips on it, but again, nothing really to complain about. Bed, as you can see, actually looks rather comfy there. We had a little look before when we first came in the room. Uh, Pillows, no so. stainage, we pulled the covers back, covers got no stainage on. The bed sheet itself didn't have any stainage on, but, and a big but, we did find a big black hair, which I wasn't happy about. So there was a few fluff, fluff bits in, in the bed. But apart from that headboard behind us, as you can see, there was no scuff marks. Sometimes you find some dirty stainage on the headboard, <laughs> which, I wouldn't like to think what they are when you go in some of these hotels. No light yeah. switch. Where's the light switch? Oh, no light. Yeah, so we haven't actually got a light up in the ceiling, guys. Maybe the person who, who built it, who 
reach the ceiling. Many of them have come across the room without a actual physical light in the ceiling, so there you go. Moving on to the bathroom, pleasantly surprised. Brand new cladding looked nice, um, looked new, but upon closer inspection, it looked like the workmanship had kind of been a bit shoddy. Um, it looked like grout or silicon had just been kind of wiped on the walls. The bath, it's not, no enamels come up, but it's still in a good, good condition, yeah. Condition bath. Yeah. And it's kind of like, if it's not broke, do you need to fix it? Yeah, it just looks strange though. You, you put all this brand new cladding in and you've got an old cream bath in there. Tell them about what you found in there. And I come face to face with a brown mark that has been wiped on the sink. There is an RCD that's actually visible in the wall. Um, really strange. Um, let us know whether or not that should be metal clad, because if it should be metal clad, um, I don't think it is. Um, but it's actually, and you could actually play with that if it realised it was there. It's actually physically just next to the wardrobe, next to the the, um, the bathroom. I've never come across an actual RCD board. An RCD board actually physically in a hotel room, so that's very strange. Um, so yeah, but apart from, but apart from that, I think overall um, the room itself for thirty-seven pound can't go wrong, can you? Really? Um, we've got to sleep yet. We've got to see how our night's sleep is. I'll let you know in the morning what it's like. Fingers crossed. All right. So we'll see you in the morning, guys. So, good morning guys from room 505 in the Adelphi Hotel. How are you feeling Claire? Tired. So, how was your sleep Claire? I didn't sleep overly great. The bed for me is too small. You were just a little bit too close to me. Yeah, so yeah, I'll agree with that Claire. I literally, I was on this side where Claire is now where the lampshade was and I had literally Obviously, a tiny portion of bed. Obviously, we've got to share the bed for that. Actually, um, and I was whacking, I was whacking the lampshade every time I moved. Bed was comfy. Yeah, there's we're no, just no, no complaints about the bed. Yeah. We didn't hear any it's noise. Quiet, yeah, yeah, we didn't hear any noise from other other rooms. Overall, the stay in the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool, Claire. Can't complain for what we paid. No, again. I think we were saying it about the Grand Hotel, but what you're paying, yes, it's a smallish room, it's a smallish bed. Uh, there is issues with the room, um, like you've seen earlier on, but you're paying for what you get, and I think for, for £37 to stay in a city centre, I mean, you're literally right bang, slap bang, in the middle of the city centre. You can't complain for the price. Um, the building itself is just absolutely stunning. Um, the insides of it um, is just, again, it's grand, it's stunning. It's in need of some TLC here, there, here, and, here and there in, in the hotel. Yes, there's, there's, there's some issues, but they're trying to rectify it. I haven't got any problems. Yeah, I haven't got any problems either. I would not stay here again. I, I definitely would for a, a base, like I say, you're in a major city like Liverpool in the city centre. Um, can't complain at all guys, at all. So get yourselves booked guys. Uh, we'll leave the links below for you to take a look and we'll let you guys decide. So if you enjoyed it guys, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed and we'll see you again very, very soon. So from the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool, it's bye. Actually, say bye. 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 bye.